There are animals that stand out for their physical characteristics, their ability to kill, or some habitat feature that makes them stand out. However, what you are about to meet is something never seen before. It is an ancient creature that has probably accompanied mankind since its beginnings, although we did not know it until now. To reach it, we must dive thousands of meters underground. In fact, some believe that we must drill into the ground until we reach the borders of hell itself. The Devil's Worm can only be found in this cavernous place of high temperatures. It is an extremely strange being that could be the key to explore, someday, new planets throughout the cosmos. Would you like to know what it is? Then join us in this chilling journey and get ready to find out. Generally, when a group of scientists starts a research project, what they least expect is to find something never seen before. In fact, the number of projects that conclude without having achieved anything is incalculable. Science is expensive and its results are scarce. However, every time a discovery is made, the world gets bigger and so does our understanding of everything around us. This story begins in 2008 with a passionate team on a shoestring budget. It was made up of researchers from the universities of Ghent in Belgium and Princeton in England. Both shared the same objective, to investigate the presence of bacterial communities in gold mines located in South Africa. To do so, they went to the area and began a process of surface analysis. They didn't know it at the time, but they were about to stumble upon something that science had never discovered before. After a couple of weeks of excavation and analysis, when they were one and a half kilometers deep, something strange happened. According to the theories, the survival of unicellular organisms was nil at the depth. There was no records to prove otherwise, but right there, right in front of their eyes, there was a complex creature named, from that moment on, the Devil's Worm. How was it possible for this tiny half-millimeter-long worm to withstand temperatures over 40 degrees in an environment with almost no oxygen and high amounts of methane? This stunned the researchers. There were no answers to explain it, but they set out to look for them. Since then, nearly a decade of research has passed, and the findings have not ceased to surprise. Recently, several U.S. universities worked together to answer the question of how the Devil's Worm managed to adapt to such conditions without suffering any damage. To achieve this, the research teams analyzed the genome of these tiny creatures and the results seem to be the key for humans to replicate the abilities of this unique worm. So far, the devil worm is the first living animal whose habitat is in the deepest place on Earth ever found, but also the first for which we have sequenced its genome. What does this mean? Well, this procedure allows us to fully understand its molecular structure and the different components that characterize it in order to reach a deeper understanding of the particularities of the devil worm. The results have shown that this animal encodes an unusual large number of heat shock proteins known as HSP70. Compared to other specimens of this nematode family, the percentage is up to four times higher than that of its cousins. This high HSP70 content is precisely what allows the devil worms to survive in such complex conditions without damage. Most life forms possess some percentage of HSP70 proteins, as these are responsible for restoring cellular health from heat damage. However, this worm possesses multiple copies of the HSP70 genes, almost as if it could produce them. In addition, the genome also possesses copies of AIG1 genes, known as the survival cell genes in plants and animals. Mix the two components together and you have a powerful formula that guarantees survival under adverse conditions for almost any living thing. How is it possible that this worm developed such a genome? According to the director of the research, who is also an associate professor of biology at American University, John Brack, it was just a matter of adapting or dying. The worm couldn't escape from its habitat, so for thousands of years it has been creating additional copies of these genes to survive. Another interesting finding of the research lies in the fact that the devil worm is not the first animal to use HSP70 and AIG1 to survive. In fact, these components have been recorded in several groups of mollusks such as clams, oysters, and mussels. 
This could open the possibility that the identified pattern could be extended to other organisms in the future. At the moment, the project is in its early stages and still needs further research and analysis. But one thing is certain, its potential is promising. Although for some people, far from being a simple discovery, it tells the story of the arrival of extraterrestrial life on Earth thousands of years ago. NASA seems to support this idea. In fact, it has invested in researching the genome and other variables of the devil's worm so that scientists can learn how to look for life beyond Earth. For professors like Brack, this makes a lot of sense. After all, part of the work of these kinds of collaborative projects involves looking for biosignatures or chemical footprints that living beings left behind. These kinds of skills could prove extremely useful when humans look at other galaxies and planets, because we might find new specimens and life forms in another part of the universe that, until now, we have been completely unaware of. Perhaps someday the Devil's Worm will be the key to find new forms of life in space, or to find some way of adapting to inhuman conditions which are common in other planets of the cosmos. However, until that happens, how about joining us to discover other secrets of space? Believe it or not, astronomy and science have made great discoveries in recent decades, and if you join us, you can also discover a universe of possibilities hidden beyond the clouds. Do you dare to discover them? Then check out these videos.